I'm advocating for the homeless shelters and safe zones. It's been about a year coming here for me, and yet no shelters or safe zones. But um, yet we, we, you know, we have open uh, dog parks and, and three months tops. And now I'm putting over a million dollars or so on more dog parks, dogs who have homes and don't pay taxes. <laughs> Uh, well, thank God for some of the nonprofits out there, but some of them, like uh, Grandma House of Hope, who charges about 500 a month. <coughs> some of the homeless don't don't have that kind of money, so they're out in the streets. So, um, one of the reasons we need shelters is in order to better help the homeless. We transition from shelters to housing. The reason we need safe zones is for those who are still out in the streets, like veterans, disabled, elderly, kids, and women who are running away from abusive homes and are now in danger of being abused and harassed not only by the criminal element in the streets, but now afraid for those who uh, are there to protect and serve. Instead of going around harassing, ticketing, confiscating their only belongings they have, and at times jailing them, the Fourth Amendment right is being infringed upon them. I know now how it feels being falsely accused, arrested, humiliated, and raped out of my Bill of Rights. What has become of our country, the morality, and the justice? God is only disgusted on this. And this is coming from the Word of God, Isaiah 1, 21 through 23. How tragic that once the faithful city had become a prostitute. She has once been the center of justice, fairness, resided in her, but now only murderers. Their silver has become scum. Your wine is diluted with water. Your officials are rebels. They associate with thieves. All of them love bribery and look for payouts. They don't take out the cost of the orphans and defend the right of the widows. Uh, it is, I don't know what to say anymore. How many times do you take out? But they're out there. Just so you know, Mayor, there is a safe zone model, actually. That came from a, a lawsuit that the ACLU did. I believe it was in Florida. I'll have to get the case law for you. I don't have it in my mind right now, but that's kind of where I came up and found that issue. So, you know, they have, a, I'm sure, an example for you there. But um, can you guys see these little figures here, these, these two people standing right there? 
Are you guys able to see that screen at all? Anybody? Mr. Mayor, Council, if I may, um, the rules of decorum for our company prohibit video presentations or any electronic or audio visual equipment. Um, the speaker of the it's just a picture. Okay, so a picture, picture can't do a picture? I'm not even playing the video, it's just a picture. Yeah, so anyway, okay, so can, can you see it? Yeah, that little dot, those two little figures right there? A little bit? No? Okay. Well, well basically on my uh, YouTube channel, there is a video. If you go to Art Joshua Collins Arrested by Anaheim PD, uh, that's on YouTube. I was arrested and far away from the police, and I'm really concerned about our right to film police now because Sergeant Boyer had me arrested. He's one of the head of the liaison, homeless liaison people. But uh, uh, th thankfully, uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of, got a lot of community support. I'm just encouraging the city attorney to, to, to drop these charges against Lou and I. And um, also, I uh, thank uh, Jose Moreno uh, regarding Los Amigos. He uh, has been working with the, the chief of police, and he is now uh, stopping the enforcing of these uh, uh, storage ordinances, no storage of property ordinances, until there's a full review of our videos and other evidence. So. Thank you for so much, Jose Moreno, out there. We really appreciate you. Um, another concern I have, though, uh, regarding property pickup, uh, that some of these homeless people are senior citizens. They can't get to this property area, and it's uh, you know 2 p.m. today. They're supposed to pick it up, and that's the only time they can get it. So if they'll say they, they uh, lose all their property on a Wednesday, they have to wait a whole another week practically to get their property back, and some of them have lost their IDs, their blankets, their medications, all that kind of stuff. So we need a lot more uh, uh, frequent opportunities to pick up people's property. You know, that's very uh, unhumane, really, especially when people are homeless and they're coming in there. And, and there's been a lot of damage done now. But thankfully, they're going to they're gonna basically suspend this ordinance for, for a while we do this investigation. But there's been a lot of damage done. There needs to be reparations and the homeless uh, receiving property back and help. I want more help in this city, so I just encourage uh, you guys to do whatever you can to make that happen. And just also want to encourage everyone here, if you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, uh, please do so. Also feel free to join my Facebook group, Homeless Advocates for Christ. Uh, my YouTube channel, again, R. Joshua Collins. You can see a lot of my videos there regarding the, the police and filming them and showing what the homeless is doing to the homeless as far as robbing them of their property, violating their Fourth Amendment rights. Uh, and uh, Thomas Jefferson, he once said, when injustice becomes law, resistance becomes duty. And that's really, I believe, where we're at right now with some of these police. Not all the police are the same. There's some that have been really respectful and kind to me, believe it or not, yes, but not all of them. And, you know, we're just here to kind of expose the, the corrupt ones and to bring it into that. So, um, unfortunately, it's kind of like organized crime, and we want to bring it into that. And please pray for us. Thanks so much.